are back here on the FTB Beyond server. Getting everything lined up correctly. Haha, -ha, there we go. Still not. That looks so funny when it comes in like this. Uh, yeah, we're back here. We're doing work on the airship. Things have changed up here. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. I'm just using some of these chisel designs to kind of make this easier on me in theory. Although in practice, it's actually getting really difficult because I have to line up everything and unmirror them. And oh man, this is, I didn't, you know, I thought, I thought this was hard. I thought going through and adding all this and there's Digi. Hey, Digi. It was hard and you know piece by piece adding these single blocks in adding this trim you know i thought that was time consuming Oof, this is rough uh, my brain does not does not get the flipping and the angles and the the taking blocks out and moving them over there it's it's a little rough it's a little rough um i guess i need this one too let's take that and we're gonna move that mirror chisel onto our positive pattern and yeah, as you can see, we have we got uh, Digi on the server. You might have seen there we had Marin. He was talking with us earlier before we started recording. And uh, yeah. Oh, what? Do I have to flip it? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. It's a little it's a little wonky sometimes. Um, yeah, we're getting a lot of people on the server. Not only do we have Digi and Marin on here now, we have a couple of new people um, whose channels I would suggest you check out very very highly. Um, one of them you may have recognized, you may know from a while ago, um, and their, their links are all in the description. Everybody who plays on the server is down in the description. You can go check it out, scroll through people, look at them. Uh, whoops. Uh, so we have two new people, two new non-Vs. Uh, one of them is Astral, who we played with on CubeTube, uh, quite a while ago. So if you're a long-time viewer, you may remember, uh, playing with Astral. Um, and then we also have, I don't doesn't look right, but I guess it is. We also have uh, someone named Backdraft Gaming, and he is uh, brand new, never played with him before, but hopefully we'll get some collabs with him going on really soon, because he's a really awesome guy. Um, reminds me a lot of Squid, actually, which is maybe not a positive thing. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's a really funny guy, and uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll get a chance to check him out soon. He's going to be recording on here if he hasn't already. Uh, and he's got a Sky Factory playthrough on his channel right at this exact moment, so you can check that out at the very least. Uh, so today, what we're going to do, now that we've got all that server biz out of the way... Is that there? Where is this? Is that there? Must be there, right? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, let's try rotating it. Yeah, there it is. See, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't... I don't get it. I'm, like, I'm sure you guys were looking at it like, wow, obviously, Finocle, you just got to rotate it. But I just, oh, man, every time. Uh, but <laughs> that's actually, you know, we're ahead of the game here a little bit. So these things, these are uh, chisel and bits fences that I've made. I put together. I based them a little bit off of the architecture craft. Uh, I think I still have some in here. No, I don't. I put them away. Uh, but where are the railings? Yeah, I based them off of these railings. Uh, let's just make one out of dirt real fast. Um, you know, they look like this. No, they don't. Here's a different one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But I based it off of some architecture craft railings, and uh, I didn't really like the way it looked with uh, the rest of the build. I think it was, like, in the middle of the block, and I was just like, no, I want it to be on the edge. It'll be great. Uh, I've got this uh, steel trim in here. That's looking really good. And uh, I cut away some of the bottom of the hull, so now it's got a nice angle to it. Uh, and the trim looks more like it's uh, holding the edges together too, which is nice. Uh, it's not like kind of in the middle of the block, which is how it was going to be. Uh, so we have the steel block here, it's, and then we got the rivets in uh, dark, or dark gray, flat colored blocks. And we have some spruce trim around the sides. Uh, and you can't really see it too much, but it just has a little extra depth when you're looking up at it or down at it or around at it. <laughs> um, and it comes up here too. And then this is all spruce and oak. And that's where we're at. Uh, I've also got this thing here because I think I'm going to take basically all the way over here. If I bring my chisel out, I'm just going to come like this. And all the way over here. Do, 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 do. And then like all the way to the end. Yeah, 
that's basically going to be probably to about here to about this torch that'll all go down and then this will come up a little bit we'll get a nice little viewing platform up here or something along those lines um and then back here i might add a second level up this like up up here and have that be like a second like another room uh i in here i added a i added a doorway because i'm going to make a like a balcony on the back here something like for the captain to just like chill out and like be watching the I don't know the land passing by we've got like the beginnings of the captain's cabin in here I'm not set on the dimensions I kind of have these blocked out as like this will be the room but uh, I'm not not a hundred percent I may raise this if I raise if I added something above here I don't know why that's still there uh, why that hole's still there if I raise it up though I may um, I may use this as like a sub deck and have the the floor start like up here like that'll be the first floor and then it can have like a second floor like a lofty kind of thing for the cabin for the captain with some windows and stuff a lot of windows back here is what i'm thinking like windows maybe a couple windows here uh, and then we'll have these windows these will be portholes i decided i'm, I'm almost 100 percent on this that these will be portholes um, just you know windows to look out and see the world um, but then i had another idea and i have no idea how i'm going to implement this really um, I wanted to like take this out um, maybe like take these four blocks out I'm gonna grab that because I want gonna probably want that but do something like that um, pretty it up obviously make it so sure it's not harsh but then have like a, a grapple cannon like facing downwards here just so and then have that be like the mooring cable and have the mooring cable come like you know right up here and work its way into that ship the hole there uh, maybe do the same thing like over here somewhere and then again on the other side too um, but I'm not sure I'm just that's just something I've been thinking about not too sure on that but uh, let's maybe put this back Oops. boop these are just stairs. I could have just used stairs for this. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really did. I I truly did use this like a chisel. Um, I I just came through here and I just like took out a. Uh, just like we did up top, really. Had my chisel and I used the grid snap cube and just went all the way through and just kept doing that until it looked uh, nice and smooth. Uh, the back does not look very smooth, but I'm okay with that because it's the back. It doesn't need to be aerodynamic so much. Um, but I like how the front turned out, and it's not done yet either. Um, I've been staring at I was staring at this, this earlier, kind of just like this. And I was trying to see if there were any differences, and I think I see one right now. Right there, and right there, question mark. Uh, that's going to be a problem for another time, though, if it is. Because um, that's something that's been I've been having trouble with is the symmetry. Um, you know, if I'm building a ship in StarMade, I can just set symmetry planes and everything is exactly the same. When I do that here, it doesn't necessarily, you know, I, I can't set symmetry planes, so I gotta do it all by hand. Um, but I was staring at this, trying to see that, and I really saw the ship come out of it. And like, it just really felt like there was a, there's a boat coming right at my face. And, uh, that was a really cool feeling. Um, so I might, I might make that my little thumbnail there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, so yeah, we're adding the railings in, um, you know, we're doing the chisel designs. I'm probably only going to put one more in and, uh, then we're going to go look at something else that we want to do real quick. Uh, I'm not going to get too much done today. I just want to war warn you guys. This is a lot of like, this is what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this thing, mirror that. And we'll copy that, and then we'll place that. Oh yeah, I think I have to place it the same way I faced it. I was facing. If I do like that, yeah, that's right. Okay. Little sneeze there, little sneeze. Um, if you ever hear a sudden click, that's the mic muting. Um, okay, yeah, that's that's great. That's great. We're just slowly getting things done, connecting this up. And um, whew, having to raise this up is going to be a pain <laughs> when I raise this uh, this 
point up. I also want to add some kind of a uh, a masthead, as they called. No, not masthead. Uh, I don't know. Figurehead. A figurehead. That's right. I want to add a figurehead here. I don't know what it would be. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Um, maybe I'll invest dec investigate deco craft, but I would love to get a chisels and bits statue going. Uh, that would just be fantastic for me. Eat some of my fruit salad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fruit salad. I've been uh, <laughs> I've been eating off fruit salad lately. Um, so first of all, I had my fiance. I was showing her around a little bit what I've been doing, um, and she was like, "There are way too many cows there. You have got to move them." So I've been moving them into the afterlife, slowly. <laughs> um, but I haven't been eating too much, too much meat. Uh, it's mostly been fruit salad, which is not a very balanced diet. But oh my god, fruit is delicious. You know what I'm saying? I didn't kill that cow. I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're just doing some population control, no big deal. Um, I really like the idea of it being under the the airship, this little pen here, but, you know, I've, I'm thinking maybe they want some open sky, and uh, I don't really need this many cows. Um, if I really need cows, I can set up a, a woot farm, like that one right there. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but this broke, I think I did, but this broke my base. Uh, I had to disconnect it and turn it off, because I just had freaking arrows forever uh they filled up my uh, refined storage system i had to export them all to this uh oh oh they changed it we upgraded the server recently and i didn't see this yet uh yeah the quantum storage unit which has arrows as you can see there uh and it's 17.4 17 17.4 thousand arrows um and you know we've got almost a full diamond chest full of arrows and a couple other odds and ends uh but yeah yeah, that's that's where we're at. This is still here. I set this up, and I think it only has, it only yeah. This is where my bows are going. It's not, oh, that's not extracting anything. That's just there because yeah, all my bows are just going into this trash can because I don't need bows. Right, first of all, I have a lot of bows. You know, I will say that. Uh, second of all, I have a tinker's bow, and I'm I'm pretty okay with it. Three point four attack. You know, not the best. I'll probably upgrade it at some point, but. For now, I'm fine with it. Um, so the other thing we've got going over here is this little pillar, which is actually part of a, it's like one corner of a build that I'm gonna do here, and I'm gonna actually sleep here. Digi's probably off mining. He's uh, he's actually got his first episode out already, which is fairly impressive. Um, yeah, he's just tooling around, and he's I think he's really just in it for the progression, so um, I'm not sure how long we'll see him on, but while he's here, we're gonna love him. We're just gonna, just gonna eat him all up. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can kind of see the outlines here. You got this, this, this as the corners, and I'm gonna build oh, this guy. Get out of here. And you, okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna put all of my chisel bags away. Just kind of put these up here too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I have the chiseled basalt out, but I guess I'll take it. We'll put our pet, uh, patterns up there too. All right. Um, and we'll throw this away, because I don't need that. So, I don't know if I showed you this either, this is the other thing. I made like a spawning area over here, like a mob grinder. Just really, really cheap and easy. I just used some cursed, cursed earth. With a drop of evil, I put it on some grass, and uh, you know, now this aggressively spawns mobs, is what it says. Uh, and I just, I, this is kind of my get the mobs farm. Um, so I grabbed uh, the skeleton from the woot farm. I just went in here and was like, "Wacha!" with the the woot orb or whatever it's called, the prism prismatic shard, everything it's called. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be okay. So I switched you that for a purpose. Like you see, kind of where that is. Um, this is gonna be like the mining guild, or maybe like a town hall, or maybe both. Because this is gonna be kind of like a, a a thrown together thing. Like this isn't a designed town, right? This is just like things are popping up because the airship is staying here, like kind of a really really a, a settler kind of feel you know just like we'll have this here we'll have maybe like a like a temple with like our root stuff in there and I have a blood altar now I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with that but I was helping done with it so I figured I may as well uh, get started on some blood magic for the first time myself um, and uh, so yeah this will just be a couple different things um, part of part of the reason I want it to be like the town hall is because down here Actually, first, before I sh before we go in there, let me grab some things. Uh, I have a couple of things in here. Oh, no, I already have it in my inventory. We're good. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Angel Ring is still serving me well. It's fantastic. So, yeah, you can hear that. 
They're like right there. Uh, so in here, I've got what looks to be a medieval torture dungeon <laughs> or something with all these iron bars just lining the room. Um, so a while ago, me and Squid were talking about maybe starting a bank or something and did, uh, it got us looking into ways that you could securely store things. And uh, basically what we found is uh, the, probably the easiest way to do something like that is, as you might imagine, to make a vault. Um, the name implies it's really secure, you know. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So we've got this in our inventory, this vault concrete from multi-storage, um, which is, uh, if I can get the right thing here, uh, it's sand, gravel, a water bucket, and a spare bucket to put it in. Uh, and then it stacks, I think, up to 64, I guess. Uh, and then you take this and you click it onto iron bars, and it turns into a vault wall block. If I break that, it becomes unusable. Um, so basically the idea here is that we're just gonna take this and go wham, wham, wham. And you use it, on, so yeah, you use it on anything else, nothing happens. You use it on the iron bars, it turns into this vault wall block. And once we have everything, once we have all these turned into walls and we have a vault door in here, it becomes unbreakable. Like bedrock in a way, I suppose. Um, so yeah, again, I'm not really going to be finishing this right now, but I did take like 20 minutes and I crafted up like what, 630, 30 of those, 31 maybe, I did break it just to see what would happen. And I get a broken block back that is unusable and worthless <laughs> and it looks funky. Um, so yeah, this is going to be, uh, basically I'm going to have, so it's huge, it's a huge space, right? I'm going to have a couple things in here. The, the primary thing that I want to put in here is uh, my hardened compactor. Um, you know, not that it's super hard to get, but just like, you know, it's mine, dang it. If you want to make your own money, you, you make your own compactor. Or you can buy stuff from me. That's easy. You can buy stuff. I sell a lot of different things. Um, or I, I'm buying a lot of different things. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do here. I had to make a lot of stacks of iron bars to fill this space, if you, you know, as you might imagine. So um, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be waiting a bit on this uh, vault wall block. Maybe I'll grind this out at some point in the next couple nights, but uh, it may be a couple episodes before we actually have our working vault up. But it's a big space, so we can store a lot of different things. Um, you know, we can have like our, our workshop in here or something, or or store all our valuables. Maybe we'll put a, I don't know. I don't know what we'll put in here, but we'll do something. There's gonna be a three by three vault door there, so that should look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then the other things we want to look at is at spawn, I think, today. Um, I'm thinking for this, too, I'm going to do, like, have it kind of come in here a little bit and maybe bridge across this gap a couple times. Um, maybe over here or something like that. Um, just because I like the idea of it. Um, do some kind of, like, a chisels and bits rickety rope bridge or something like that with, like, wool and I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I'm thinking. I'm just trying to see if we were forgetting anything from the base, and I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. That's I'm oops. I don't, I'm still used to going through the Nether. I've gone through there a couple times, and I'm like, wait a minute. I've got this guy. Oh yeah, I do want to show you these. These are the uh, like the base models for the uh, for the railings here. So the full block one is it fits two, and then it's nice and even, and it just goes and goes and goes. And then for these corners, I had to use one and just kind of finagle it in different places. If I was being smart, I would have just made it the square. I would have made it a, squ a perfect square, so that way I could have just like twisted it around whatever way I wanted it to go, and it would have looked great. But oh well, oh well. Come back here. I know we sold at least at least one thing. Let's come down here. I don't know if I want to take that. I don't think I want to take that yet. Not quite yet, because I will probably lose it. Um, did I sell anything? Or did I buy anything? No. Nobody sold me anything yet, so I still have lots of coins in there. Uh, if I come down here, uh, Marin was asking for clay, so I just threw it in here. He said best offer. Uh, he said he found some, so maybe I'll attach a price to it. Um, and just sell that for now. Let's see, do we sell anything else? Hmm, I need to put more iron in there. Although I didn't sell any, <laughs> so maybe I don't need to put more iron in there. Squid came through and bought all my diamonds. So there's 18 gold coins for us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and up the price on this now. Uh, oh, actually, that's one diamond. 
four, five gold coins, which is how supply and demand works. I'm probably going to lower that again at some point because I don't think people are going to buy that. Um, people haven't been too keen on the... I'll have to stock that with diamonds at some point. Um, people haven't been too keen on the on the gold coin uh, system here, uh, which is too bad because uh, I think it's really great. Although to be fair, people are kind of still getting settled in and stuff, so uh, maybe maybe once things catch on, um, Squid has his Za Temple over there. I think he wants to have other people build uh, some restaurants, so we might do some kind of a fruit bar. Maybe sell some fruit salad and some other kind of things. I don't know. What is what is there? Fruit. Um, a fruit crumble. Yeah, we could sell some pies. Yogurt? A smoothie? Sure. So we need a star fruit for that. Fruit salad. We could sell juices. We need juicers for that. But I can I can automate all this. Star fruit. What? I, I don't even know how to get star fruit. I haven't seen that. Grapefruits, dragon fruits. Yeah, but like maybe that's something to do. Fruit bait. I guess we're fishing. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's where we're at. Um, we're kind of planning out some paths here. We got some ideas for bridges, for roads around here. We're going to come on and uh, clean this area up a little bit. We've started to cut back the trees a bit, uh, kind of make this more of an open spawn area. There's a lot of elevation. I w I'd love to see what people do with that, um, especially like up here and, and over here even. And, uh, you know, we have this big golf course over here, but, you know, there's still a lot of space. Like there's space out here. There is space under here on top of these cool little uh, outcroppings. And uh, I, if nobody else does, will probably build something else out here this way. Um, we've got Backdraft setting up his little base over there. Uh, and Kinema's out just beyond him, too. Right across the river, actually, which is kind of cool, I think. I think they're all in their own little spaces, though, so that's neat. Um, yeah, I would love to see spawn extend out this way. Basically, all around this little lake and lagoon, whatever we want to call this thing. Um, and maybe we can even run the path uh, this way. Maybe fill that in or something. Or do, like, a, a small footbridge and have the path come this way and do another bridge uh, over here. And then have the path come wind down up back in this way. So it basically just runs all the way around this this uh, lake, and uh, over the and then the river can like be its own thing. I think that could be pretty cool. There's a lot of water out this way, like just here. Um, having explored a lot of this, um, uh, yeah, there's just like lots of little lagoons and stuff. So it makes for really cool builds too. Um, so I can't wait to see what happens. Um, I'm glad that Squid has his uh, his pizza his pizza temple there because I was getting tired of my build being the last one or the only one on the server um, or at least didn't spawn uh, I would love 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 to see more so I can't wait to see what people do especially as we get more people uh, people have been really active and, and hanging out and chatting and stuff and and chit chatting so uh, I'm really stoked uh, I'm really excited uh, not a whole lot happening this episode let's you know I'll be honest with you but we're setting up we're setting up we're getting things done and uh, I do want to show you one more thing with the airship because I, I need to tell somebody. Somebody needs to understand. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you was on here. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to take I'm gonna take down, take out these black lines. So I'm going to do like a draw region and come in. Let's do this over here. Like so we're down on this level, right? I'm going to come in. I'm going to go take that. And just as far as I can go with it. Just like that, and then the same thing over here, and then the same thing over here. And now you may be looking at me going, Fen, this looks really tedious. Why are you going to do that? Uh, and the answer is yes, it is very tedious. Uh, but when you look at it like this, do you see the d difference in the texture? It looks so much brighter, uh, it looks so much like cleaner, it has a little extra texture to it, although it's not like. You know, it's not crazy amounts, but I think it could just look really cool. Like, even on this small scale, it looks really nice. Like, it looks so much... It, like, it just, like, pops out a little more at you. And, uh... I'm just curious, actually, if doing two would be... Two might be ridiculous. Two, two layers might be ridiculous. But let's find out. Let's find out what happens. Maybe it'll... 
increase the effect. Or maybe it'll be the exact same thing. And I am just a dingus. I think this one should be fine. Yeah, I don't think it really adds too much to it. It just makes it look like it's a great... Yeah, I like that one block because it's just like, oh, look, there's a little bit of texture there. Just a little bit. little boop. And then when we need to come up here, it might get a little tricky, but, you know, maybe just a little something like that. Or maybe we just do a cross, you know? Just do something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's probably what I'll do after I get all of my uh, rails caught up on this side and uh, maybe even once I put a mast in, that's something I need to do too, I'm going to put a mast in, maybe a couple of lesser masts, I don't know, uh, but I'll probably do the mast and then I'll, I'll lower the floor and then maybe I'll try and chisel out those, uh, those planks a little bit just to give it that, uh, that cool little feel there. But let me know what you think. Um, let me know if I'm being stupid and crazy, because I feel like I'm going crazy with this thing. I've been working on it for hours and hours on end already, and I am not even near finished. It's looking good, I think. I think it's looking good, but uh, it's not even close to finished. Uh, so <laughs> I'm still I'm still coming up with ideas for portholes and and trying to come up with an idea for the uh, those those cannons, those uh, mooring cannons. Oh man, oh man. Maybe I'll just do one hole. I just do like one hole in there and then have like a cannon come out and point down. I don't know. I don't know. You let me, yeah, you let me know what you think. Have a great awesome day, guys. Thanks so much for coming along with me today. Um, I've got a creeper head on my, I had two creeper heads. How do they stack? How do they stack on my head? That doesn't make any sense. It must've been a bug. That's so weird. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I can stack them on my head. <laughs> what? Hey, look, I still got a creeper head. Okay, anyway, have a great awesome day, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!